Hi, in this video we will learn how to write equations for lines in R2 using vectors. I'm assuming that you already know that in the Cartesian plane, if you have an equation like ax plus by equals to c for constant abc, you have a line. So this kind of equation defines uh, a line in R2. And well, if you are lucky a little bit, you can you can reorder uh, well, rearrange this equation and write it as minus a y equals to minus a over b times x plus c over b. And uh, well, um, this can happen only when b is non-zero. And this uh, number here is the famous slope m we usually denote it. And in the uh, in the calculus and pre-calculus, we always say that, well, if you have m and a point, you can write these equations. Well, this one is called uh, uh, slope uh, intercept form. The other one is called general form. But this slope picture, which slope as one number, is something which works only in R2. If you go in higher dimensions, then the slope as a number won't work anymore. To be able to write equations for line in R2 that can be generalized in higher dimensions, we need to bring in vectors. So how does this happen? Okay, to write an equation or describe a line using vectors, we have two separate pictures. One is using direction vector. And two is using a normal vector. Uh, what are these guys? For each one, I will write the definition. Well, a direction vector is a vector which is uh, parallel to the line. So if, if I have the line, any vector which is parallel to this would do the job. Uh, well, I will usually draw it on the line. So D is what, what we use usually for the direction vector. Uh, on the other hand, the normal vector is a vector is a vector which is orthogonal to all vectors on the line. In other words, uh, well, you can uh, write, see the vector normal, or usually we denote it by n, as something that, um, let me use this uh, word uh, perpendicular, which doesn't make sense in general, but, but just uh, to every vector which is on the line, this vector normal is orthogonal. How are these guys are going to, to tell us or describe us uh, points on the line? Well, for the direction line, this is what we do when, you, when we drive a car in a constant speed in a specific direction and uh, um, oh, with, with a constant speed. So this... Well, at every time you you go this far and then you go this far, as time passes, you go on the different points of the line. And if you if time allows and you can drive, uh, it will go along a straight line. But the other one, the normal picture, is a little bit different thing. That well, physically, it is a little bit different, uh, difficult to describe any 
any similar phenomena. But what happens is that every point on the on the line, actually, I I need to fix a point P, and then every other point on the line. Uh, you can, if I start with P, the point, and X, then we can create PX. That will give us a vector on the line. And we know that the normal vector is perpendicular to uh, that. So that means that N dot PX is going to be zero. And that's how the points on the plane, uh, on the line uh, in R2 can be described using the normal vector so let me geometrically make this thing uh, a little bit uh, pre some more precise geometric way of doing this so what we have is that in both cases we need the coordinates and then we have well, a line like this a line like that on both of them, we fix a point P, P. and when we uh, have the direction vector, basically we have a vector like D here. And okay, every uh, point on, on, on this line, you just uh, can see this as as multiple of d so this can be t d after t minutes the car starting from p, point p in the direction of d will be at uh, t d and well uh, if you use the position vector of these points you see this is going to be the vector P, position vector. And if this is the point X, this will give us the vector X. What you see here is that if you use the rule of head to tail uh, for adding two vectors, this X, the vector X here, is sum of P, so you go up there, and then multiply t by uh, d by t and add it to this guy. So this added to this gives us this one. And this way you describe the position vector of all the points on the line. x equals to p plus td. This, this is how this um, geometrically work, works. How about uh, the normal picture? In the normal picture, you pick any point X. Then uh, we have the directed line segment from P to X. This is PX. PX is on the line and we know that normal vector is perpendicular or orthogonal to, to all such vectors. In particular, I can write that uh, n dot px is equal to zero. If I know what is a point p and if I know what is point, uh, uh, point x, then I can write px as the position vector of x minus the position vector of p. And that you can expand on that and you say okay i have this equation n dot x equals to n dot p in this case we already have it x equals to p plus t d this is this is uh, called vector form so let me write this one vector form of the equation um, of, uh, of, of the line. The other one, this guy is called a normal form 
of the equation. And well, as you can see in the uh, normal, to write normal form, we need normal vector and a point. For the direction vector, we, we, for the vector form, we need a direction vector and a point. So then you can write this equation. So two different equations, each one coming from different world. And this one, both of them describe the, the line. Okay, let us just do an example, keeping all this in, in somewhere handy. Example. Find equations for a line. Okay, um, this is for first part uh, uh, with uh, direction vector d which is given by 1 and 2 and passing through um, point 4 and 0 the other one is uh, uh, a line with uh, normal vector negative 3 and 1 and point 1 and 3 basic two examples this is first one this is so for for the first one we have the direction and point so we can form the so-called vector form uh, vector form of the equation and what is the vector form it is written right here I'll use this one x x is the vector of x y equals p the position vector of the point plus the parameter t times the direction vector x equals to p plus t d uh, this other one is n dot x equals to n dot p and this is, uh, well, we call this one normal form of the equation, yes. And these are giving us uh, what we were looking for. Well, when you look at these, these equations in this example, you actually can go one step uh, forward and then kind of simplify these things. And when you simplify, for this one, the equations written for the, for the components, well, what I mean is this. I can write this as x, y equals to 4 plus 1 times t. And this other one is 0 plus 2t. And then first component is equal to the first component. So I can write them from this is x is 4 plus t. And this is y equals to just 2t. These equations are kind of different form and it is called um, equations written for the components is called parametric equation. And if we simplify this normal form, you see that negative 3 times x, this is dot product, 
plus 1 times y is equal to negative 3 times 1 plus 1 times 3. And this gives us negative 3x plus y equals to 0. This form that you see here is, is called the general form. This is the one we started with, and now we have it back. We start with the, the picture now, the vector picture, and we are getting back to the uh, forms we like. General. Well, if I want to write it in general, so if it's ax plus by equals to c, where a and b is our normal vector. And if you want to write this one, is x is equal to p1 plus td1 y is equal to p2 plus td2 and these are two new forms from each picture let me finish this video by by adding remarks about how one can move from one picture to the other one how we can go from direction vectors to normal vectors and so on one general the one fact that you have to keep in mind is that the direction vector is always in the direction of the line so if this is the line and this will be direction vector and normal vector is always per orthogonal to all such uh, vectors as a result you can see that n is orthogonal to d the equivalent version of that would be n dot d is equal to zero for all you, you choose any normal vector any direction vector you dot product them you should get zero for the same line uh, well, how does this uh, can help us to move from one to the other one? Well, this comes from very easy fact that vector, if you have a vector in, in R2, A, B is orthogonal. So you can always make a new vector which is orthogonal to the given vector in R2 by switching the components and multiplying one of the components by negative, negative uh, number. Well, or you can do this for B uh, negative A. What does it mean? It means that if you start with D vector here, d1 d2 you can go the normal vector by switching the components and multiplying one of them by negative sign or this one yes d2 minus d1 and the other way around is also true if you start with normal vector you can go to direction vector a direction vector by switching the components and multiplying one of them by negative negative sign. This way, when you have uh, one of these pictures, you can move to the other one and make uh, all the uh, four forms of the equations for, for the line. Okay, very quick summary. Well, uh, we saw that to write an equation uh, for line using vector, there are two different approach. One is using direction vector and the other one is normal vector. That for the direction vector, if you have a point and direction vector, you can write this equations called vector equation, vector form of the equation. If you have normal vector and a point, you can write normal form of the equation. We did some examples, and we saw that if you expand on these guys, you will get uh, two different forms of the equations 
one is called general form the other one is called parametric equations uh, for the um, for the line so in total we have four forms for the equations of lines in R2.